Good morning everyone. So <clears throat> we've got this um, it's a ASRock B550M HDV. It's currently got a um, an AMD Ryzen 3 4100 um, processor in it. The only thing is this BIOS version that this board has doesn't support that chip so what we've got to do is we've got to do an upgrade <clears throat> now to do that to upgrade the BIOS what we've got to do is um, we've got to change the uh, processor for one that is supported and I've purchased a uh, an AMD Ryzen 5 um, 4600G um, now AMD do a um, loan scheme I'll put all the details below um, where you can um, get a, a processor from them to do the BIOS updates um, now I've chosen to um, purchase this because I've, I'm probably going to have a few to do so instead of having to keep um, applying for the boot kit as they call it um, I'm gonna I've just purchased this and um, so I can do it in future right so um, without further ado let's get on um, so yeah right so we've got to take this out I was going to say when you um, when you go to take the processor um, heatsink off of the um, CPU, uh, it's always best to twist it first. Now, as you can see, that came out on the bottom of the um, fan. So, right, let's now insert the processor. Now these have, don't know if you can see that, a little gold arrow. And with the board like this, the arrow goes down into the bottom left hand corner right so all I'm going to do for the moment is I'm just going to put that on top of there um, I've got a um, the latest BIOS that I need uh, already on a USB memory stick and I'm going to put that in and I'm gonna power it on and right so I haven't got I haven't got the uh, <clears throat> power switch plugged up but what you do is you um, 
if I can see it they are you just touch the two pins which are down here and it generally helps if you turn the monitor on and it is We did have, right there we go, right, I'm just going to come back in a minute when we set up the uh, the camera for, so you can see the screen. Right, so <coughs> now in position to see the screen, now the, um, you'll have to look on your, um, on the board layout for the uh, the power switch, but all you do is if you haven't got it plugged in You just Short the two um, power switches And I'm, I'm gonna miss that so we want to go into the BIOS, so I'm going to do a, a a reset and I'm going to press F2 um, now as you can see here I've got the USB plugged in to the USB port um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across on the menus and I'm looking for um, instant flash and there we are it's under tools so instant flash yes um, So it's found the um, the BIOS, and do you want to update the UEFI to B55 HDV underscore 2.10? Um, actually, I'm going to say no first because I want to see. Um, I didn't get the the main. Oh right, okay, so this is on 1.90. Um, right, so that's that's fine. I, I now know what versions they're gonna come out on. So, right, so back to tools. Instant flash, yes. And it's picked up the, the BIOS on the memory stick. And we're gonna go update. Do you want to update UEFI to B55HDV underscore 2.10, which is the BIOS version? I'm going to say yes. Now at this point your mouse will freeze. Do not touch anything. Do not power it on. Uh, do not power it off. <clears throat> and just hope you don't have a power cut. Now, more expensive boards, like the gaming boards and, and that, will have a flashback button on the back of them that you put in the memory stick into a certain port and then you press the button and it will find the, um, the BIOS uh, on a memory stick and flash it for you. Unfortunately, the manufacturers seem to think that that is only for um, high-end boards, 
why they can't incorporate it on all their boards. Um, I have no idea, but manufacturers, Adrock, Asus, um, Asus um, and all the others, if you're watching this, then please, it makes so much it easier. I, mean, I had to spend over a hundred pounds just to get the processor to do this. <clears throat> but I will say I love AMD. AMD, if you're watching this, I love you. I think they're the best processors ever. Unfortunately, I've heard that they're moving over to the LGA socket which is what Intel currently use. I'm not keen on LGAs. We're now at eighty two per cent. I'm leaving this as real time just so you can see how long it does take. <coughs> programming success so we can click OK Remember, do not interfere with this process. All right, okay, so we're now back to a um, solid boot. Um, so I'm going to go back into the BIOS because this has actually got an M.2 fitted. Um, I just want to check the yeah it's picking up the M.2 um, right that's about it um, so we'll uh, put the processor back in actually we'll be we'll be back in a minute and Actually, no, I think we'll leave this running. Right, so 
That is now done. I'm now putting the original processor back in, the um, Ryzen 3. Um, now, the 4600G, the G is for graphics. So I didn't actually need the graphics card in there because it's got graphics, but the um, 4100 doesn't have um, graphics. So right now, fingers crossed this works. And there we go. Right. New CPU installed. Um, MV corrupted. Uh, press Y to reset. So. That has been a complete success. So we now have the. Um, <coughs> AMD Ryzen 3 4100 working on a um, ASRock B550M-HDV. Hope you enjoyed this. Look out for more videos and please click like and subscribe. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.